the remix, baby. What's going on, YouTubers? Deadly Brit here, and welcome to part one of Dust and Elysian Tale. Um, now, from the word go, I'm just going to quickly say, for the purposes of this walkthrough, um, and there will be plenty of these because uh, it's quite a long game, um, that I will be cutting out the cutscenes, um, <clears throat> and I've also turned the um, in game music off, so when you play this game, or if you play this game, uh, you'll have that to look forward to. So, I'm playing Dust, um, and this is Fidget here. Uh, I'm sorry, I so think basically, I misheard before. You I'm said sorry, your name I think I misheard Fidget? before you said your name hey, was Fidget. Hey, this isn't about yes. me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm going to skip. Sorry. <laughs> right, um, so yeah, I mean, straight away, if you turn left... And you get a treasure key straight off. Um, yeah, for the purposes of this walkthrough as well, I've played this and completed this um, at least five times now. Uh, so I'm I'm not a master by any means, uh, but I do know where most stuff is. And so what I will do during this walkthrough is I will also try to um, include as many. Um, Achievements as humanly possible. Now, I will. There, there are some that you just simply can't do um, on your first run through. Um, but, um, like I said, I will try my best. So, um, one thing I was going to mention is this is on casual for this for the um, for the purposes of the walkthrough. So, this is on the easiest setting. Um, so what yeah, is it, I mean this game is well, just absolutely brilliant. Uh, all of this was near enough designed by one guy who all, all of this is hand painted, the scenery, um, the, the voice actors, especially Fidget is just she's uh, you know she's adorable and she's really really funny in this as well. So okay, so I've just acquired the dash, um, <laughs> left trigger, right trigger or the right hand analog stick. So, and now you can press down and then A. It tells you what to do, but um, another tip. I've seen a few walkthroughs, um, help and options here. Uh, if you go to controls, sorry, not controls. Uh, where is it? Settings, there we go. Okay, auto advance on, turn that on, vibration on or off, it, it depends, it's up to you. I've, I've got auto fire on, auto heal on, auto level up on, and colorblind mode. That just, when you get to certain gates, it will tell you, fidget will just tell you that it's a green gate or, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Um... A good tip for this one as well is combos. Um, All right, we found a chest. Correction. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. <laughs> These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. So you press up and then buttons. Yeah. Now, I mean, for instance, one of the achievements is um, hang out with, I think it's 12 friends in the sanctuary. And to do that, you need, I think you need four treasure keys to open each of the boxes. Uh, the cages that the uh, characters are in, like Super Meat Boy, um, Spelunky, and things like that. Well, rather than opening each individual treasure box, you're um, you're actually Calm best um, you're actually best saving them up. Uh, 
Okay, so a good tip here is the X and then Y, and you'll do like an uppercut. Straight. You wield the blade of Ara. Uh, hello, monsters. Is that why I summoned you to control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and yeah, think and if that isn't an understatement... So well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. La 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 la. Yeah, this just, this game is just so um, visually striking. You know, the f it's painstakingly painted. Um, the background and, you know, each character. <laughs> Yeah, another trick is right trigger, dodge past them like that. That's another good one. Um, especially for these uh, big, huge rock monsters and, and things like that you get later on. Yeah, I couldn't believe I found this game. I thought, I don't know, it's like a cartoon game, blah, blah, blah. But then, you start playing this game, it's just so good. I like to say, you know, you, anyone who doesn't kind of not, not fall in love in a, <laughs> in a sick way, but if you don't fall in love with Fidget, you're flying Nimbat, then there's something wrong with you. You don't have a heart. You don't have a heart. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. I like it. Hold Y to perform the dust storm. But beware. Skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press B, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. <laughs> my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you I will could lose your bonus skip experience. this, but I won't for the purposes right. of the video because I think I understand. If I skip things, people if say, this is well, all too much for you. I wanted to you watch that. If I don't skip things, you know, then start. Thanks, Fidget. People I'll say, take a oh, look well, if I'm no ever in trouble. To be in there, so you know, I'm just doing it. So. <laughs> So I will show you in a minute, well, in, in about five minutes, I think, in the story, how to get pretty much your um, first achievement, which is the thousand hit combo. Now that sounds hard, but it's actually very easy. You need a, you need another ability first. Now I was going to quickly show you the um, save game, um, and then there's the world map. 
Uh, this does that automatically, but I mean, if you want to save two games, make sure you save it um, manually in a different uh, save slot, otherwise you will lose everything like I did. <laughs> and then basically have to repeat everything again. But, you know, I enjoy the game so much that it didn't really piss me off. Even when I did Batman Arkham Asylum. And I didn't know about delete profile, delete profile and also games. And also games. Which I did. Like a new. played it again. <laughs> I had that like 88% complete. You saw me um, level up just then. Now, auto level up, it assigns it. Um, it assigns it. Where is it? Stats, character. Right, okay, so as you can see here, max health. And then the next time you level up, it'll go on attack, then defense, then on fidget. Um, but one of the most important things on this in my opinion is the augments and the armor um, and these three as well I mean they're all important but um, don't when you get to one of the vendors one of the guys you can buy stuff off um, don't up oh, another treasure key there yeah don't um, don't be spending all your money yet try and save it up if you're playing on casual then it kinda doesn't matter but um, I never play on the easiest setting, but, you know, when I play games for the first time, I don't play it on the hardest setting either, um, I just play it on normal, or you know, average setting, whatever it is, uh, so I can get to know the game first and then try it on hardcore, because it's always, it's always one of the achievements, complete the game, then complete the game on the hardest setting, so... You get slide ability on this, you get um, the ability to... Wow, it's really beautiful up here. Yeah. Grab onto things. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all of my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be digging me sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. But yeah, by the way guys, um, save points, they regenerate not all of your health, but good, a good section of your health. You know? Wall chicken! Serious wall chicken.
Yeah, you didn't know what to hit you. And by the way, guys, uh, you can't, you can't just run away. <laughs> you can't just run away. Like you've got shitloads of monsters running after you, um, and you can't just run away because uh, it will say no escape. So you've got to fight. Aerial dust storm. Yeehaw! Right, this is where you can get the thousand eight. Coming up now. But basically, that's how you do the aerial dust storm. Just jump in this direction and why? something. Right. Another treasure key. Woo! Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing Merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with... But, um... Uh, before you leave... That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though... I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you'll buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. Now, if that doesn't sound creepy and really ominous, like, watch your back, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's just giving me a warp pendant. Yeah, that's Treasure key. Woo. Yeah, I'm just basically showing you where where most of these are. Uh, well, if not all of them. Um. Oh, another one. Okay.
right, so we need one of the um, exploding fruits. The one achievement I don't have on this uh, um, as of yet is the kill six enemies with an exploding bomb, which is obviously one of these. But um, try as I might, I can't get it. Okay, now these little bastards here. Um, did I check up here? Yeah, I don't think I did, did I? Uh, those slimy things, they'll probably be the um, first real like, competitive type of, type of monster that you'll encounter. If you uh, know that you're parrying just spot on, they can be quite um, Takes a bit of practice, but. guess and say we need four keys. See, I've only got three. That's just so typical. But anyway, um, Spelunk, is it Spelunk or Super Meat Boy, I think, is going to be in there anyway. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, that's definitely one thing that you can't do. You can't open all of the chests with the single keys and get that achievement as well. But um, I can always make a video on their locations uh, if people want to. Oh, look, I mean, there are videos on YouTube, so you could always look that up as well. Gus, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no! Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't get a good enough grip. Aw, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Oh, 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 first, see what I mean? Ah, you bastard. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> ah, it's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Attack and hold X at the moment of the enemy's strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. <laughs> over there ask them if they've got anything to eat we're in a bit of a hurry fidget don't worry don't worry we'll this it's not all talking pass? like this it's but, uh, obviously just to get you um into the Thanks. game and just show you stuff and no i'm not talking to oh shit i'm gonna have to aren't i oh, hello. by the way talking this to villagers if there. they've got a green leaf over the head crap. um that Sorry means about that it's you nice can to get experience points for talking to them I'm gonna skip that, sorry. 
Right, as you can see, look, 40, 416 XP acquired then just for talking to her. Um, look! Please, help us! Look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. What the fuck ever? <laughs> so, good parry and then... No, wait! That's not all of them! Uh, here comes some more! Okay, so this is the best place to uh, to get your 1000 hit achievement. Basically, just jump and press the Y button. Just go like this. And then... Do it while pressing the B button as well. You can see the combo goes right. Uh, top right hand corner. Don't be tempted to go back once, uh, you know, go back and then hit them again. Just play cool. Just keep doing it one by one like that. This is on an easy setting now, so I don't know. I had like four, three, three, three and a half thousand, four thousand combo. There you go, there's your thousand combo. Um, and by the way, guys, you don't get, get the. Um, it's no good getting the yeah, one thousand and then thinking, oh, well done, it didn't Dust. pop up because you it happened to me about three times. You get and thousand uh, and then you must uh, stop for it so to register tough. and then it will pop up. So, yeah. You know, if I had to. And this was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <sighs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? 